Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. I'm kind of excited today because today I'm going to create two makeup looks with this palette. This is the Sigma Corderosa palette. Now, these have been out for a while now, but I actually bought it a couple of weeks ago and I didn't have time to try it. And I know, I have similar shades, probably the same shades in other palettes, but guys, when I saw this, online and then when I saw the review of this palette makeup looks I couldn't resist this is a beautiful beautiful palette and I couldn't resist to not buy it and I'm going to try uh, this brush too because I do like Sigma brushes and I'm very excited I'm very excited I'm going to do two different looks on each eye because it's late, I'm going to remove this makeup anyway, so I really want to play with this palette a little bit. So if, so if you're interested to see what makeup looks I'm going to create and what I think about this palette, then please keep on watching. I feel like my under eyes are very bright. I used a new concealer that it's very light and I do kind of like it, but it feels a little bit weird. Not when, uh, when I see myself in the mirror, but when I see myself on the screen, I look very pale <laughs> on the eyes. Okay, so I'm going to put information down below about this palette, but Sigma released two other palettes after this one, and this one just got my eye, and I had, had to try it. The first shade I'm going to is Hybrid, this shade here. It's a beautiful pinkish coral shade. Oh, I forgot to prime my eyes. That's crazy. Let's just prime the eyes before we start. I'm going to use this one from Anastasia Beverly Hills. How could I forget to prime my eyes? Let's go in with that shade. beautiful shade and I've seen dupe videos and I think I have like a couple of dupe palettes <laughs> but guys I couldn't resist and it was 30% off and of course I had to have it look at that I like that I'm going to go in and Let's try to blend it as high as possible because I do want to use as many shades as possible here. So then I want to go in with this kind of brush and mm -hmm. Summer Song, this shade here. They're a little bit powdery in the pan, but it's not bothering me at all. Ooh. This is an, it's a very nice mirror in here too. I like this. This is like orangey brown shade. And it blends very nice with this shade. I don't know if you can see, but it's blending, blending very nice. You've probably seen this palette and I'm sorry if I'm late with reviews, but it's still nice to watch makeup tutorials and maybe you have this palette all the do or the dupe for this palette. So I'm going to bring it a little bit higher too. Then I'm going to go in with this shade Shakespeare. This shade here with the same brush and I'm going to concentrate this on the edge here. Oh, that's a beautiful shade. Then I'm going to go and use a flat brush. My favorite brush for packing on shimmer shades is this Sosu and Kayla Esco 05. This kind of brush. I really love this brush. And I'm going to go in with this shade Dark Night. This shade here. And I'm going to pack that on. Try to pack it on with the brush. I don't know if it's going on the brush, but um, on top of this shade that we just applied. What is it showing? It's showing up. 
Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. Let's try it with finger. Oh, it's very buttery. Yeah, it goes on very nice with the brush and with the fingers. I like that. And I'm going to clean it, this and I'm going to go in with this. Hmm. Let's see, there are two shades I want to use more. Yeah, I'm going to go in with this High Society, this shade here. But it seems like my lights are washing out the colors from the palette, which is kind of... It makes me sad because this palette is so beautiful in real life. It's so beautiful. Oh, I love that sh this shade. Can't wait for my windows to get fixed so I can have my, all of my lights up. Right now I'm only having the ring light and I don't think it's enough, but it is what it is. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is stunning. Then I'm going to go in in this campfire with the same brush. I'm just going to clean it in between and pack that on here, kind of blend these three together. That's very nice. I like that. That's very nice. I like that a lot. Really like that a lot. I'm going to go then in uh, on my lower lash line and I'm going to use a smaller brush. And for my lower lash line, I love this brush. This is Morphe and Jaclyn Hill, uh, JH42, this kind of small brush. Hmm. And I do want to go in with the Shakespeare again, this shade here. No, this shade here and go very close to the lower lash line on the first part of the eye. There is a little bit of fallout, but it's not bothering me at all. Nice. And then I'm going to uh, damask, damask, this pink shade here. I'm going to use uh, that one too. This pal palette inspires me really to create so many makeup looks. And then I'm going to take another palette, brush, not palette. And I'm going to go in with this shade that we had in the crease. And I'm going to blend the edges so it doesn't look rough. And also bind the low lash line with the upper part of the eye. This is really, really, really nice. I like that. And then I'm going to take a small brush and I want to go Bell of the Ball, this first shade here. Take just a small amount of that and apply it here. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, this is a beautiful shade. Tada bra. Nice, let's go over to the next eye. For the next eye, I'm going to use this brush and this is, oh, what it's called, N-I-R-C, and I don't know what number it is, but it's a round blending brush. And I'm going to go into this Corderosa shade that it's such a beautiful matte shade. And I'm going to blend that in the crease. Oh, such a beautiful shade. I feel like this is my favorite shade in the palette. I love this eye. And I'm going to take this as high as possible. This Madeleine, Madeleine, this shade here. It's like a brownish shade and I'm going to take that right into the crease to dip the crease a little bit. Oh, 
such a beautiful brown shade. I'm going to use uh, this brush again and I cleaned it as much as I could. Get, take this darkest shade here, Bare Root. And I'm going to take that. Oh, beautiful. And then I'm going to take the flat brush and clean it a little bit so we can go in with another shade. Hmm. And now I think I want to go in with Campfire, which is just beautiful. I feel like this, my camera and lights are not showing the best colors. But this is like a brown. I don't know if you can see it, but... Oh, this is packing on nice. At that go in with the brush again and go in the lightest shade in bell of the ball the shade that we had here in the corner and try to go in the center of the eye oh, that's stunning let's go use the finger the pinky and see if we can Oh yes, that's this shade here. I want it all under the lower lash line. And then I want to go in with this apricot shade and blend the lower lash line. I'm going to go with this again and go into veranda, this shade here, and I think we used all of the shades in this palette. Oh, this is a very nice nude shade. It's not shimmery, but when you build it up, it has like a satin finish. I love that. And then into bell of the bell of the ball on top, just to make this pop a little bit more. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. beautiful so I'm going to do my mascara and put some lashes on top and I'll be right back so guys this is the final look now I think it looks amazing they are very easy to create I think this palette is very beginner friendly they are beautiful shades very easy to use very easy to blend into each other uh, so many shimmery beautiful I haven't tried though this gold shade let me just swatch it oh my god it's so beautiful let's see do we have yeah look at that look at that I feel like I can create so many makeup looks now both of them are very wearable very easy to create I think I did a very good job and uh, I'm not the best of creating eyeliners, so especially the wing liners because I have very hooded eyes, so it's I try to make it, but it, my eye then turns droopy. But I feel like uh, such a beautiful, I really like this also. I think I'm going to wear this tomorrow. Mm, I like this one too. Well, I'm happy with the palette, I think it's worth the money. I think. Thing, especially now when I paid like 30% off and I also know I have similar shades to this but I, I really wanted this into my collection and I'm glad that I have it and now when I have it I'm definitely going to use it so guys please let me know down below if you try this palette are you interested in this palette do you really want to try it Would you like to have this palette in your collection? I tried so many palettes these couple of months and I feel like this one is the one that is most beginner friendly. Guys, please let me know down below, is there any makeup look you like more than the other? Which one do you like more? Do you like both of them? Tell me down below what you think and I don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye!